the most basic action that civil society and states they should learn from Brazil is how to put in place a monitoring system. Diariamente são captadas novas imagens e são comparados o processo para identificar os desmatamentos do corrente, do que a gente chama de tempo quase real. Eu acho que é muito fácil imaginar formas de outros países estarem aproveitando isso e já estão. They have had some of the most aggressive uh, deforestation. Uh, certainly in absolute amounts, the most deforestation in the world. And now they have in, in a process of transforming some of these pressures. In 2004, Brazil introduced a package of policies across 14 ministries that together aim to reduce deforestation in the Amazon. De forma alguma vai se reduzir o desmatamento em qualquer lugar do mundo se ficar a área ambiental trabalhando isoladamente. É necessário você trabalhar com as outras áreas de governo. Those agencies created national parks and protected areas, enhanced the monitoring and enforcement of Brazil's environmental laws, and more recently began promoting sustainable alternatives to deforestation. And it seems to be working. The annual deforestation rate in Brazil's Amazon dropped from nearly 28,000 square kilometers in 2004 to around 4,500 in 2012, a reduction of 84%. These dramatic results aren't all down to good policy. Sven Wunder from the Centre for International Forestry Research, CIFOR, says the global slowdown in commodity prices, along with demographic changes like falling birth rates, have also played a role. In addition, there are indications this year may see deforestation rates inch up again. But Wanda says other countries can still learn a lot from Brazil's approach. I think there are some, some very tangible lessons as well. Uh, probably the most important one is the effect of, of the monitoring of the uh, changes in land use, where Brazil is, is a leader in, in the southern hemisphere, if not in, in the world as such. Brazil's National Institute for Space Research, known as INPI, uses satellite imagery to track Amazon deforestation from its base outside São Paulo. Nós trabalhamos com as imagens do passado e a imagem atual, a imagem desse ano, é sobreposta à máscara, uma base que contém o desflorestamento. Então esse processo é feito para imagem por imagem para todas as 220 cenas que compõem a Amazônia brasileira, de maneira a identificar cada novo desflorestamento que ocorre ano a ano. Tá? Esse processo é feito uma vez por ano com imagens da classe Landsat, entre 20 e 30 metros de resolução, Então ele, você consegue uma quantificação bastante precisa da, das áreas desflorestadas. In addition to the detailed annual maps, INPI also records daily satellite data at a lower resolution. Diariamente são captadas novas imagens e são comparados o processo para identificar os desmatamentos do corrente, do que a gente chama de tempo quase real, né, o desmatamento que está ocorrendo agora. The information is all published online. It, in a way, allows the society to check the progress of deforestation control. They know where it's, they can know where it's, it's, it's working, and places that where there is evidence that's not working, they demand action for those areas. That action comes from IBAMA, Brazil's environmental enforcement agency. With headquarters in Brasilia and on-the-ground teams across the Amazon, Ibama staff use INPI's maps to identify and punish illegal activity. É onde os nossos técnicos analisam as imagens de satélite para a identificação principalmente dos desmatamentos, né? Vamos sentar aqui que eu te mostro um pouco. A sede tem no combate ao desmatamento dois papéis principais. O primeiro, fazer o, o monitoramento, ou seja, informar as equipes de campo aonde o desmatamento está acontecendo. Essa imagem que a gente está vendo é uma imagem mais recente. A imagem, quando ela baixa, é uma imagem mais antiga que mostra que essa região de floresta ela foi suprimida. E o segundo papel é um papel de coordenação das equipes. Nós é que estamos na linha de frente, nós é que vamos é, informar as equipes e ir a campo para verificar o que está acontecendo, se são desmatamentos autorizados ou não, e tomar as medidas cabíveis, é, segundo a lei brasileira, é, com as sanções, é, caso seja um desmatamento ilegal. 
That means issuing fines, blocking offenders from accessing credit or marketing their products, even confiscating machinery and livestock. I have the impression that in Brazil, many people do not have to commit ambiental crimes. But if the commitment of this crime is on the bank, or if she is not able to sell their products or to access new credit in the bank, this is the key to encourage the person to do this. This can cause a backlash. In Porto Velho and Rondonia, one of the Amazon's deforestation hotspots, state Obama director Paulo Denis says his team sometimes face violence. É perigoso. É, a gente sempre corre riscos. A Amazônia é uma, é uma região complexa e complicada. E também a gente, como a gente está ferindo interesses econômicos, né, muitas vezes a gente tem a, a possibilidade de represária, às vezes política e muitas vezes um risco de vida mesmo aos nossos agentes que estão em campo. Brazil's monitoring and control system alone isn't the answer to stopping deforestation. Protected areas are important, as is providing incentives for landholders to do the right thing. But it is a crucial first step. It's the most fundamental building block that you have to put in place to control deforestation and make that public. But is such a system feasible for countries that may not have the resources that Brazil has? At Empi, Dalton Valeriano thinks it is. He says the entire satellite monitoring program costs just two and a half million dollars per year, and it's worth it. The, the, the cost that we have, it's more or less equivalent to the mahogany trees that you find in 62 uh, square kilometers. We're reducing deforestation by the thousands of square kilometers. So the, the, that's just a simple example that there is lots of value out there in the forest that's being wasted just by land conversion. The, the price is cheap at the end. I don't see that the major constraint is, is, are the budgets, but it's more how you build the critical mass in these countries to undertake these endeavors you know, of, of monitoring deforestation and making that public and for the society to start using that, that information. Of course it becomes a political tool in and of itself that, that then you will actually know uh, where deforestation is going on so you cannot hide behind the curtain of uncertainty as you do in many, in many, in many countries in the region. Um, so it's a decision that uh, of to create transparency around, around land use that can have wide-reaching uh, consequences. Brazil is already sharing monitoring software and technology and training people in other Amazonian countries as well as the Congo Basin and Indonesia. In a strategy Brazilian, it's a strategy of Brazilian cooperation Sul-Sul. We have a very great interest in that all the tropical countries can have plans e formas de combate ao desmatamento similares ao que a gente faz aqui, mas sempre guardando as necessidades e as particularidades que é, ocorrem em cada um desses países. There is more pressure from the from the society to get more information about what's going on with forests, with land use change, and this is growing because of implications of climate change, etc. So I think there are starting to emerge conditions to make that happen in the other countries as well. But I think I'm optimistic that in the short future we are going to see that all the countries are going to move into this direction. <laughs>